Hello guys, welcome to another Wild Frost video, and in this one we just so happened to run across a pair of nut buddies that were just so perfectly made for each other. There's this concept of shell, which is block in Wild Frost. This is my first time really exploring it to its full depths, and we made the biggest nut you're ever going to see in this game. Okay, you're probably going to see bigger ones, but it was pretty impressive. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, fading. When summoned, when deployed, summon Fallow. Fallow is a 8-2 with Barrage. That's pretty good. It also gets into the Shade Dwellers, and I kind of want to do some more Shade Dwelling thing, because I've realized I really like Overburn as a debuff. When this attacks, it applies three spikes to the enemy ally behind. That's also extremely good. Holy. So you can put a little multi-attacker behind her. Spice is temporary attack, so we can use um, that little guy, Ticto. We could also use the Foxy. Foxy has low HP, but multi-attack. There's a lot of synergy with uh, Frank. Frank might be the best one here. The thing is, Fading gets you into the Shade Dwellers. Or Shade Mancers. And Frank puts you into the um, Snow Dwellers. I like Frank. When's the last time that we won with Snow Dwellers, by the way? Have I ever even won with Snow Dwellers? I'm not even sure. Frank. Oh, we are on a win streak, though. We're on a win streak. Let's go. I think gnomes are OP, and then sh shade mentors are next, and then snow dwellers are last. So they're gonna have to put this to the test. All right, let me use the bathroom. So here we would like to get a. Um, here we would like to get a combo. So combo. Combos are how you get gold, so we want to kill both of these in the same turn if we if we can if we can, and that's going to include doing this. So you can only do one action per turn, guys. That does not include the combo. And now I got to slow myself back down. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That does not give me a kill. Huh. Wait, I just screwed the combo up. How do I, how do I, how do I undo this? Because now I don't get the combo. Who cares? It's only five gold, right? It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's only like infinite gold that I'm not getting. What if I slow my own Loki down? Should I wait for the combo? This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm going greedy. I'm so greedy, it's ridiculous. This shit's getting out of control. Even then, I can't get a combo. What is this? Unless... Free action reroll. Damn. It's messed up, man. Smack back. Gotta freeze him first. I've had shit combo. This whole run. Now that's gonna be 1v1 Jeremiah. I'm not gonna win this. Which of these spikes for the bridge strength? But how am I gonna win this? First of all, I didn't get any shit combos. Loki's dead. So I want to do Sunrod into Scrappy, but then that thing's a, th that thing's a problem. 
Sunrod. I'm gonna s slow down this. And then I'm killing. This has smack back. Ew. Ew. Fuck this one up. I didn't get any gold. I, I, I might as well just reset the whole run. Uh, this... I got 30... I, I, might, I honestly might as well... Okay, I, this is really... This is so bad. We'll truck on. But just mentally, I'm already perturbed by how bad this was. It's really disturbing to me. Alright. Ice step smack back? Yeah, I could have done ice step smack back. Yeah, yeah, man. Where's my brain? That shell kick's my favorite. Actually... What can Sunlight Drum do for us? Let's take a look. We need your see companions first. I like this. Let's get some companions and let's move on. Okay. Chomp on. Ooh. Some spicy choices. Okay, okay, okay. Chomp on goes big, 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 um... Well, we have Nutcake for it, and this is Body Slam, and then Firefish, okay, Champon, let's do it. Who wants to be Champon? Who gets the honors? Who has the honors? Kalugo has the honors. Kalugo's going to go big, big, big. Whoa, wait a minute, what is going on? We got Kalugo and his companion. Got Bron in the mix. Wait a minute. Let's change this up. D crown. Let's add Kalugo to the mix and then Bron. Gotta get some crowns. We are good. Go shell crazy. I only didn't get enough gold for the last run, but that's fine. Barrage. Barrage, huh? Spicy. Spicy. Alright, we got Mimic. And Ice Lantern. We gotta kill those things. Two combos fine. Another two combo here. Not necessarily too combo here. Well, I'm not sure Kalugo. Kalugo's gonna be a big, big baller. We have another two combo here. Oh, wait, we got the goblin has to stick around. I right, got a two combo here. Oh, look, three combo. Check this out. Look at this. One, two, three. Big money, big money, big money. All right, we're, we're making up for it. We're making up for it. Yeah, we got the shovel card. And we're in good, 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 good shape. I actually have lethal right here on the ringer with Kalugo. Kalugo is lethal already, which is crazy to think about. Absolutely bonkers to think about. But I want to set up some kind of uh, combo. Eh, let's just do this.
Absolutely bonkers. Uh, you want to kill Frostinger, how? It's more March Trainers, yeah. The new X S S uh, new SCS expansion, yep. How do I kill Frostinger? I can't, can I? Unless Loki gets lucky. Alright, bye-bye. Let's go. Kaligo is gonna be monstrous. Thank you. Nice recovery. Nice recovery. Good job. Blink into charm into sh yes. All right, we got crown money. Let's get showbone. We're in there, baby. Oh, cloudberry. Hello. That was I use it to great effect with Nam and Stompy. Blaze T. Make this Kalugo a double attacker. Holy. And not that I was worried about the run, I was just perturbed about how much gold I didn't get. He has like Blaze T to make. That's almost like too much damage, isn't it? He's gonna do like 32 damage. 32 damage. I mean, I like Blaze T. It's just. It's just. It makes me happy. Berry Blade is kind of interesting, but a charm it is. Alright. What do we got? Sorry about that. I like this spell. Remove charm limit. Okay, that's really bad for later. We, like, right now, that's really bad. But maybe that might be useful later Later on. I'm not sure. Charcoal charm is kind of a meme. So what do you guys want to do? You want to put... So let's say Braun wants to be our tank. Do you want to put Collaborate charm on Braun? Because he wants to be tanking like crazy, right? But how often is Braun getting kills? How often is Braun getting kills? Like, you want this to be on, like, a smackback machine. He's gonna keep giving shells, but how often is he killing? And that's the question. The killer here is Kalugo. Kalugo is the killer. But then Kalugo doesn't have a max HP pool. Kaligo's a kill stealer, exactly. But restoring health and kill is not good for Kaligo, so I guess a Jeremiah is probably the best then, because Jeremiah is like a solo killer. But we want Bronze to be okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Boss time. This boss ain't nothing. Fury 3. Damn. Tell me how you really feel. This, this is the best song of the, the track. Kaluka's getting big, guys. Kaluka's getting massive. Luca's about to one-shot the whole damn row. You guys ready? Kaluga can kill and Franco right now. Should I do it? <laughs> Bye. Alright, Kaluga wins the game. That's bad. Wait. Kaluga wins the game, but there's not enough gold. That's the problem. Kaluga, you're too strong. I want to kill things in the back, but I can't. So we win. The game's over. Nothing more, nothing less. I guess that's how it goes. GG. The one way we can make this effective is... Damn, there's like no gold in this fight. I gotta ask Isaac, how the hell do you get money out of Infertico? You need the AoE? I need Barrage? Barrage is, this is why Barrage is so important. Because Barrage kills bad things in the back. Killing things in the back gives you gold. Getting gold wins the game. I'm gonna ask Isaac, how the hell do I make 
gold off Inferno go. Yeah, I guess I could have done that to do a little bit of a double tap behind. True. Well, he already double tapped in front of him. Wait, wait, he got double tapped in front of him already. Alright, whatever. GG. It is what it is. Wait, it's gonna get four. Wait, wait, let's do math. Let's do math. Let's do math. This is gonna be. 25? Nah, 24. 24. Still not good enough. Oh no, it's good enough, it's good enough. It's good enough, 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 good enough. I forgot he has base of one, base of one, base of one, base of one. Uh card draw companion or some bell. Remind me of the time that Braun fed you about your shots and made you really big. Good memories. The reason why I picked rebell there is because I wanna play nutshell, other blaze tea. I wanna play cards. I'm broke, guys. I'm broke, and they're making me do the wheeling, woolly snail. Ay, ay, ay. Things I gotta do for this. Kabonker, Shuminator, Bink, Bling, Bink. Now, if I had extra money, guys, I would buy the crown. Like, so this is, this is where you start, you start feeling the effects. I didn't make enough money in the front coach, so I'm only 33 gold. I made 33 gold or something from the first fight. This could be a situation where I buy a crown and get the goop. Or the vase or whatever. But instead, I'm getting a vase and a heartbreak. Uh, let's do Kabonker, I guess. Chump luck. Everything else seems like trash. Are you a chef? We just feed them nuts. Equip now. We can make something applied charm. So things like Kabonker. When Kabonker gets something gets snowed, then Kabonker makes him snow back. Or we can do... Yeah. Oh, it turns against my own guys. Wait, does it make does, it, does this make him infinite? Wait, does this make him infinite? Wait, Kavonker with he applies the snow and then he triggers against it again. Wait, is this an infinite Kavonker? Wait a minute. Did we just make a bunker go infinite? Holy, let's find out. Biscuit, perfect gold, or a charm? Thoughts? What do you want a biscuit on? What would we biscuit on, even? Sunrod? <laughs> I like charm better, but you know what? Can't say no to the biscuits. Biscuit Kabonker. Alright, so Kabonker might be infinite. Let's find out. Let's see if the, the Vebs are uh, privy to this. No Kabonkers here. Ain't no Kabonkers here. Wait, Grog doesn't want to go. That's not good. Grog doesn't want to go. Good old Brawny. That's gonna do lethal next turn. So now we gotta kill this next turn by doing... But I don't want Gron to take much damage. Turn big baby mode. 
I did the opposite. I made it. I, I turned into Big Daddy mode, and we're going win streak crazy. And we're not dying. Okay, we're dying sometimes. I think the game's fun. Yeah, the game's fun. I put like 20 hours back to back on stream. Um, here I want to get a combo, so I'm being a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a ninkam poop right now. But it's because I want something, and you know what? I'll do this. So that Grog is dead next turn. So we now get a situation where we get Kabonk or Infinity. Ready? We could biscuit. We could biscuit bonk and go crazy. Isaac, I was trying to ask you a question. You think? This is infinite. I gave Kabunker apply snow. We're about to find out. I, picked it, I have not picked to grill. With the apply snow? So I gotta get two bonkers. Okay, two bonkers. Eh, good to know. As long as there's no thorns, we're happy. So I'm kind of curious though. What's the point of putting biscuit on something like if this dies, this doesn't come back to life, right? So biscuit is pretty bad there. But biscuit snow stick isn't bad. Ooh, we got blaze tea. And now we're gonna double kill that row. And what I want to do. Play Kabonker. Wait, I give Kabonker the spice. Spicy Bonker. Alright, look at this Kalugo. Boom! Boom! Uh, it's time to test Kabonker. Apparently it's not infinite, but I'm still curious. I'm still curious. Wait, it's reducing the attackers. Let's try it out. Ew! Not what I intended. Sag. I right, double kill here, which is good. Yeah, not what I intended at all. Once I dupe it, though. Once I get the dupe. Once, when you hit me, you apply spice to everybody. Well, well, well. I think Kaluga's got you all by himself, but you know what? Let's give Kaluga some spice. Spice up Kaluga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, gotta be careful. Makoko's getting big. Wait, wait, chill, chill, chill. Makoko's getting large. Koko's getting way too large for my play here. Look at that damage. Kalugo is a beast. Yeah, it's very common. So we get to, we get a muncher, muncher and some gold. I like that. Oh, we gotta get a dupe though. Is your endless mode? <laughs> Sam, I love how I. For you, it's about endless mode and big baby mode. Uh, no, there's no endless at the, at at the, the at the time being. Um, that might be a thing they add though. Wait, I think Isaac said something about in this. <laughs> uh, you guys want totem or no? Well, pet reaper. Pet reaper is weird. It does damage, but it applies spice. Hungo. 
Longbow's hammer is pretty interesting. I guess Totem's the best one, isn't it? Oh no, Totem's amazing. I've been using this to great success. Love this. I love this Totem. Totem's uh, probably one of the best Totems in the game. From my analysis. 42 gold. Wow. That was great. I try to get a dupe for this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I have a question. What kind of Lumen Vaz to go crazy this run? What's up, loading? We can Lumen Vaz. Lumen Vaz Totem is not bad. But what if you Lumen Vaz Brawn? It applies six. And if a Lumen Vaz Kabanka, well, Bunker doesn't do that. I need to say, what we need to get is a uh, Duke Pot. Let's get a Duke Pot. Wally Drek. So last time this guy got out of control. I'm not going to repeat the same process. We got a biscuit. Oh, this is a sun charm. Interesting. I'm doing good, dude. I got my ass kicked thoroughly in this latest part today. I'm really disappointed. I feel like I could have done better, but aside from that, um, I'm mending my wounds by doing stupid stuff in Wild Frost. Yeah, we'll check sun charms a problem. But if there's nothing to eat, then it's not a problem. Sun Charm reduces the counter by one, so that little thing is dangerous. It attacks one turn sooner every time. I'm gonna biscuit on a snow stick. That's what's gonna happen. Man, this Wooly Drek is sort of annoying, huh? Are we gonna oh wait, this Bigfoot's also a problem. Wait, this whole thing's a problem. Everything about this is a problem. Because Bigfoot's also a problem. I don't want to attack Jeremiah. I can snowstick the Drek, but I can also snowstick the Bigfoot, because Bigfoot's gonna be a problem. You know what I mean? Bum bum ba da 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 dum da, 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 da. How are we gonna block a bully drug? You guys have any ideas? Ah, I can put a woodhead just to block one attack. But this is yeah, no, actually this is fine. I actually like flame water on Kabonker. Might be a sneaky good card, huh? Flame water Kabonker. And then when I just keep stowing this bad boy, he keeps getting smacked for four. Once that dupe, once that dupe pot Kabonker is going to be. Hmm. Maybe not a good, maybe not a good use of the... Okay, okay, okay. So now Wooly Drag is attacking, right? So that's a problem. So we can block Wooly Drek. And then smack. Here's what we can do. We can do this. We can put Wooly Drek. Ah, uh, we can do this. Woodhead tank the hit. Is it Elder Scrolls at all? Majong Scrolls. What the hell is Majong Scrolls? You're confusing me more. Drex about to eat Bigfoot. Okay, but what about this? What if I put Totem with the goat? All right, and then he gets he gets demonized. And when he gets demonized, I blazed his sunrod, he's dead. Ain't that a thing? But Jeremiah's gonna be taking a big hit here.
Wait, what was that? What just smacked back? Guys, I have a question. What the hell just smacked back? Oh, he ate it. He ate it. That's right. He ate it. He ate it. True. True. Yes, and true. So we do Blaze Sea Sunrod and we kill Wooly Drake. Game's over. And then we fight these things. Like the Bigfoots. Bigfoots are easily managed. Look at Kabanka going wild. So, tank this hit, but take a look. By Sunrod, this guy's dead. More or less, right? If you want to spin up like a Windows Vista database and you can host your own server. It was a college bait, not that it's available free online. It was around you before they killed it. My job scrolls. I have to look into that. I, I am one of the resident boomers here, so I played some old games. So I should know about old games. Sunrod. Doesn't do enough. Somehow doesn't do enough. But Bigfoot's a problem. Anyways, this guy's dead. Bigfoot is a problem. Wait, we can kill Bigfoot? Wait, wait, we can kill Bigfoot? Check this out. With Snow Stick. Snow Stick kills Bigfoot. Ready? So fucking beautiful. I need Goblin to not run. Wait, this big fight's a problem. What do we do about Goblin running? Clunker can hit allies? Really? That's bad news. Okay, one sec. Let's take this. If I can. If it goes to totem, that's not the end of the world. The fact that Goblin is running is a problem. I'm sure I can do anything about that. I can let Loki die because we don't care about Loki, do we? This is a Newman snow stick, but I can't play it. Take my four gold and I'll leave. Ah, uh, we got a big Lou. Big Lou, and we got a Kulugo trying to kill the big Lou. Kulugo kills big Lou right now if you guys want. We could win right now if you guys wanted it. My only question is do you think we can get some more combo gold out of this? I can win the game in a heartbeat. But can we get some combo gold? Well, I can kill Bigfoot in the very least. Whatever happened to Peglin? I can still play some Peglin. I just got into a, a Spire bench. I actually have some Peglin videos I gotta put onto YouTube. When I got completely stoned and I had a deck full of 30 stones. You guys remember that? 30 stones? The best thing I've ever had. Okay. If I want a combo. I kill Bigfoot and then I kill Big Lou, I suppose. Sure. And that's, that's, that's about all the gold I'm going to get. That's about all the gold I'm going to get. That good enough? What do you guys think? That good enough? Two combo? Or can we get more out of this?
Yeah, Snowstick is my my damage. And then I just do Sun Rod and win. Two combo GG. How do I get more of that? I can make three. How can I make three? So I just take the big foot. Then Kalugo kills Paw Paw on the other big foot. Who the hell is big foot? I see what you're saying. So I just take the big foot. Kalugo kills Paw Paw on the other big foot. Yeah, killing Paw Paw is not... The thing is, I want to kill Big Lou. But you know what? This is what you want to do. I see what you want to do. You want to do this. I get it. You want to do... Sunstick. And then Sunrod kill three. And then handle Big Lou how? Handle Big Lou how in that situation? Overtime. Caligo's the man, the myth, the legend, eh? Caligo's my main squeeze. But that's applying two snow. Now, isn't two snow kind of bad? Uh-oh. I didn't find the thing that said... I didn't find the thing that said Sunrod. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and find that Sunrod. Rolling into it. Oh, I figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it out. It's glorious. Sunrod right here. GG. Two combo. Two combo right here. One guy survives. Not a big deal. Big money baller. And we can buy some crowns. Forge. Kamaka's gonna attack me? Or is it? Okay, let's do that. We got our vase. Here's our vase. Vase enjoyers. Alright, the Lumen Vase is here. I say vase. I don't know why I've been saying vase. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm more like a vase kind of guy. Shelbo. Oh my god. Shelbo's here. And it, look what it has. Look what Shovo has. It has no attack on it. How is this game so brilliant? Yes, I want that card. And yes, I don't want it to have attack on it. So you guys, if you're not aware, normally this thing does two attack. But this one has the charm to reduce the attack. It's incredible. Okay, these charms are pretty bad though. I'm not sure how much I like the vase gets rid of several of the viewer features in the game presents. Yeah, it's like, okay, well, I'm taking the vase. That's the thing that's happening. Um, oh, I'm also infinite, so let's stop caring about gold. I can see the balance issues with that. If infinite is as easy as it is, and it's not patched, and then the vase is just a guaranteed thing you want to get. So then there's two choices in the game. Vase for two floors, and then infinite, solve the rest of the game. But the beginning of the game is fun. All right, let's see what else we got. Fury? We can put Fury on a Kabonker. None of these are pretty good. Pungu Chub, when you're snowed, you get an equal attack. That is not very good, right? Why is that good? You put Barrage your whole row, you, you'll see. You'll see. And I could Biscuit. I could Biscuit Shobo. Biscuit Shobo is gas. Pure gas. I'm rich, so I should probably buy a charm. What charm would you guys buy? These just are not good charms.
Yeah, so normally it does AoE, two damage to your roll, but it gives him five blocks, so it's still a, a, a surplus of uh, three. But in this situation, it's minus, minus attack. Yeah, this is just not good charms. I mean, what to say? It's, there's another shop in the future, and these are not good charms. So let's go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and fight the boss. Crunker. With some spike walls. And it's aimless. Aimlessly spike walled. Interesting. Okay, so what... Oh my god, vase... On shell bow. Does that do 10 shell? And then we biscuit it? What the fuck? Tell me it's not 10 shell. Someone else punches the spike and they jump 20 feet to stab you instead? Yeah, that's horrible. I'm kind of curious what happens if you vase this. Oh, I can also do vase on brawn, I guess. Oh my god, look at this card. It's gonna be a free shell bow. That does infinite. You know what's funny? Putting shell bow here actually heals me. Because normally, okay, I'm taking eight if I put her there. But, if I put her on top, I'm actually healing. So I do this. Oh, wait, what? When Shavo hits Braun, it counts as a hit? Oh my fucking god, I'm perked up, I'm percolated. Shavo is a zero cost hit that does three extra shell. This is getting crazy. Wow. Okay. So how about we get that spike out of the way, huh? No, that spike has 4, four HP. Damn! Alright, so now we have everything. We've done all the things. We've done the shells, we've done the the overburn, we've done we've done all the things. Now I've done all the things. I've done all the things now. Oh, I got rid of the spice. Oopsies. I want to get back into Shubbo, though. Shubbo is pretty important, huh? Ouch. Aimless. Just slow stick your ass. I want to get rid of Loki now. Hey, where the hell is Shabo? My deck's too fat, guys. I need removal ASAP. I need removal ASAP. <laughs> Smack back spike ball is annoying, though. It's not infinite Kabonker. I tried. So I gave Kabonker snow when I said, hey, this is infinite. Turns out it isn't. So you know what we can make infinite? We gotta get a dupe pot. The thing that says copy an item. And then it is infinite. So we have infinite waiting in the lurks. We have this other broken shit going on. Life is good. Shabo. Shabo is incredible. God, that's so incredible. Smack that kill him. And that kills the gink. And the gink doesn't die. But I kill the spike wall. That's important, I guess. Look how much 
health Kaligo has. Alright, Kaligo keeps attacking me, keep winning. This aimless spike ball is gonna be a problem. Maybe not. I should get Kabunker out, huh? Because Bunker is gonna be. Isn't Kabunker. Wait, Kabunker is a great way to just kill Krunker. Because you just Kabunk him, Kabunk him, Kabunk him. Lugo is a monster. So Kabonker is how he killed the Krunker for free. Just two free hits. Boom, boom. Yeah, Kabonker into... The Krunker is really good. Really, really good. Interesting. That's an ice lantern. Kaligo can take that hit, right? Kaligo is Kaligo can take this hit. Because I kind of want to um get a combo, right? So if I get a combo, how is that going to work? Well, Spuncher doing two extra damage doesn't matter because Kaligo has infinite health, right? So what we can do is get Nutshell Cake out of the deck. Why? Because it's Nutshell Cake has been burning a hole in my pocket. Because I can't be, I want to roll, into, I want to re-roll into this freaking free shovel always. But unfortunately, the nutshell cake has been burning a hole. Now that it's gone, I can do shovel willy-nilly. I'm kind of curious, does shovel work in Kabonker? It does, doesn't it? I mean, Luke already has infinite attack. I can get a double kill in the top row. What I really want to do though is get a uh, kill the spike wall. Shelling scrap is legal, is it? Well, let's find out then. <laughs> My whole team is beefy. Okay. So we got Kabonker. We can kill two on the top of Kalugo, or we can let Kalugo kill the bottom row slowly. And the thing is, aim the smack back times two. Jesus Christ, this spike wall is a monster. I know what I can do. I can kill this, and the next turn I do... I figured it out. I figured it out. We have lethal. We got lethal, we got lethal, we got lethal. Ready? This goes up top. I kill Krunker and Porcupine. I get a three kill. I get a three kill. Oh, it doesn't count as a kill. Right, 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 right. Okay. But that can one shot that guy. Bron can take this. Bron can take this. Yo, Prostate with Twitch Prime, that's an ancient name. Como estabas? Ah, uh, we want to wait for the resummon. about that. Yeah, we should really snow this wall. This wall is a problem. We snow it, there's no smackback, right? What an easy solution. Braun wants to get in there. No, the snow stick, it, but it's aimless, but it doesn't smack back, right? No smack back, so it's just gonna be dead.
but the shotgun's kind of OP. Yeah, OG name, exactly. Okay, GG. Wait, 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 GG, he's over. You can have stack and you can have two active ones because they get your cards, but then they allow infinite junk combos and they encrypt their safe house. So they're they're okay with infinite junk? They're okay with it? Look at this bonker. Alright, kill this. Let's go, all right. And now we're going for kills. Ah, GG boys. Next turn I'm gonna go for the infinite kill. So, not infinite kill, what I mean is I can go for double kill next turn. By, I need to get Sunrod. If I get Sunrod, then I can go double kill next turn. Or, can I get a double kill? Because this is gonna do seven. How do I get double kill here? I need Kaligo to get Sunrod. Can't get double kill. Unless. Unless. I summon my Kalugo and then I do. Summon my Kalugo and then do Snow Stick. It's kind of hard to get double kill actually. Now they could do mods. This game can be modded. I can double kill like this. I figured it out. What am I talking about? Pretty simple. Nah, I don't have a promote code. I would. I don't. Is there? That would be cool if I could. You're the second person that tried to give me um promote. Promo code. Appreciate that. I just got the achievement called Tough Nut. Let's see what Tough Nut unlocks. I bet Isaac doesn't have that one. Stack 50 shell on a single target. I got that. By the way, guys, I got achieve a win streak, and it's only 0.8% of players. You have all achievements? Well, that's Charm Rocket. Game Barrage Reduce Attack. Wait a minute. Barrage on Barrage and Kabonker. Barrage and Kabonker. Th think about it, guys. Now you apply snow, the whole row gets snow. It's like snowfall on crack. Barrage Kabonker. Barrage Kalugo? But I think you can't do Kalugo Barrage. The reason why I can't do Kalugo Barrage is because it only has one attack. So if it has one attack, it can't go negative. Barrage Kaligo is disgusting, but Kabrunker? Wait, you can also give it Frost. Ah, wait. Moose Charm, and then you do Barrage on Kaligo. That's how you do it. You give Moose Charm, and then you can Barrage Kaligo, and now Kaligo does AoE. No, Moose Charm just exists so that you can apply Barrage to things. That's the whole point. It exists just to make add barrage. But you could also do barrage on Kabonker, and it does this AoE snow. And if you duplicate that card, it does infinite snow. But you guys want to do barrage Kaligo? That's going to be kind of broken, isn't it? All right, Barrage Kaligo it is. I, I want you guys to tell me right now. Big Fat Kaligo or Big Fat Snow Bonker? Barrage Kaligo, okay, you guys want to see Barrage Kaligo, so you do Moose Charm. So let me, show, let me show you why. Right now I can't do Pomegranate because it has one attack. Work around, Moose Charm. Now this motherfucker has Barrage. And he's a beast. All right, this is the video of the year. Nah, the video of the week. Let's go, let's skip. Do you guys want Frost Hand? I mean, I can just apply Frost as well, but what's the point? 
Make the Kaluga better when you dupe it? Yeah, it could have been cool. Once, once Kabonker is duped, he's already infinite, though. That's the thing. You can only put, you can only put, um, three charges, but Chucklefish makes you put all uh, infinite. So we gotta stop this haze. Gotta stop this haze. Got Blasty into Sunrod. But haze is still a thing. I need to get into Shellbow ASAP. So if I roll to Shellbow, I have Numlin Biscuit, Vaz, Shellbow. Shellbow. But I wanna get Blaze T out. I wanna get Sunrod out. I don't wanna get bursted at all. I'm a Shellbow man I once was. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Sunrod. Oh, Sam, I, I named him Kalugo because I'll do, I'll do this for you, Sam. I'll rename this for you. Fuck, your name's too long, dude. Yeah, I'm naming them. I'm naming them. My, my, my name is Jeremiah, for fuck's sake. Alright, it's, um... How do I play this? Bursts? These bursts attacking is problematic. <laughs> and there's... Yeah, the totem is just there for moral support. So we want to play Blaze we want to play Sunrud. But then we also... Don't want to get hazed? Hazed is not a problem once we do Sunbow stuff. We're fine. Be scrappy, and then it just gets six. Six goes one, two, kill that guy, and then we manage this guy. Sure. All right, that burst is done. So now we're gonna get hazed. Now, how does a man handle the haze? What if I just get rid of the totem, Sam? What if Sam just is a free haze eater? Thoughts? Freeze up the deck. We don't care about Totem Sam because once Kaluga gets going, think about it. Once Kaluga gets going, we don't give a damn. Once Kaluga gets going, we don't give a damn about what he's got going on there. And then we got to do Vase, Shelbo, Newman Biscuit. And then we can start moving, winning the game. It takes a little bit of a long time though. This Burster is a problem. That's kind of a waste of my Totem. Uh, the goblin's not gonna be. So we got the Vaz Shovel Biscuit. That takes three turns. One, two, three turns. Ah, we can even put Shovel on Woodhead, but that also takes four turns. Hayes, Hayes Bront isn't much of a problem. True. Crab has smack back? We got a big subscription from Sin7. Appreciate the Twitch Prime, buddy. Twitch Prime stop ads. Now, I haven't been running as many ads as I could. But if you Twitch Prime, I'll increase the ads by twofold. Just Twitch doing his thing. We'll make Bron hazed. Bron's gonna be a hazy boy. You guys wanna snow stick the goblin so she doesn't leave? Newman is a free makes it a free action. So you can only play one card per 
One card per turn, but Nublin makes it a free action, so you can, you know, doesn't end your turn exactly. What would you rather kill? This thing has smack back. How are we gonna handle the crab smack back? So do you guys care about goblin yes or no? I can snow stick the crab so it doesn't smack back. Or I can snow stick the goblin so it doesn't leave. I wanna keep the goblin around. But then I, don't, I want the crabs to not be smacking back because smacking back is a problem. Only 4 to 12 gold? That's a lot of gold, amigo. That's a lot of gold. Bonk or just snow stick or just snow stick this man. You want to make things combos. Combos are the way to win the game. So with that being said, you want to put Kabonker in the mix, but you know, whatever. Look how much shove we have. So we want to re-roll into um okay, gotta get this out because this, this is burning a hole in the pocket. We gotta get this out. But is this kill? Does this kill Braun? I'm assuming it does. Should we science it? No, I don't want to. Braun, no, come on, Braun. I wonder. No, this is really mean science, though, because this is probably. I mean, we'll probably, we'll probably win the game as it is. In SCS, it wouldn't. But I've noticed in this game, it takes away two HP. Well, I don't I actually don't I don't know how this is gonna work. It's gonna kill him. Mr. Lama says it's tested it. Mr. Lama is gone where no man has gone. Yeah, I gotta draw back into Showbow ASAP because this is doing some damage. Goblin, where are you running to? Kaluga's about to kill the whole damn row. Just as you like to see it. I want to get Loki out of here. Loki want Loki out of here. No, haze takes down. I'm just getting rehazed. They're bong clouding me. I'm in a hot box. You know what's the problem here is that this crab is staying alive through the Kaluga mix mess, which ruins my combo. That ruins my combo because if I kill crab, then I attack the top row. You know what I'm saying? If I attack the top row, then I kill the crab smackbacker. That's kind of annoying. This crap staying alive. Kind of annoying. Also, poor Braun's taking a lot of damage to the face. Bronze taking lots of damage to the face. This goblin is making me a lot of money. I'm 
We're about to take six. So we need to heal up this Bronze. Bronze needs needs some love. Caligo can be a tank for now. Let's get Kabanker out. Kabanker out, huh? Or we can just Sunride Kalugo, I guess. And just kill things. So, one, two. Ooh, that's bad. That's back, back. That's, ba that's bad. That's back, back. That's bad. That's back, back. So here's what we're gonna do. Takes eight. We're gonna attack. That's not good. Whatever. That's fine. Just gonna get the dead. Yeah, he's gonna get the dead. Problem is, Goblin's gonna get away. So four gold now. Oh, this is more, way worth more gold because it's a combo. One, two, so goblins worth less gold in this situation. Let's go heal Bron. GG. Is there anything, are they gonna summon any more or is this the game or is the fight over? Can you vase goblin? Oh I should try that next time. Yeah, fight's over, fight's over. Get in there, go bunker. Bunker, get some health. Kalugo is a a barrage times two, a hundred damage. I mean, this guy is just a monstrosity. It's an absolute beast. Absolute Giga Chad. Ooh. We made, made a decent amount of gold that run. So, you know, this run started off bad and it's become quickly amazing. So here's the sad part. I want to remove two cards. Why? If I remove these two cards, I can get into my freaking shellbow vase biscuits thing sooner. And then I don't have to worry about the redraws. But this has a, sh a crown. Why a crown's good? Well, and then I can crown... I can crown. Is it worth crowning biscuit shelbo? No, is it worth crowning biscuit vase? Or are we kind of happy with what we're doing? Let's preserve Loki. Get out of here, Loki. Crown the blaze tea. Crown makes it so that it doesn't. So it's like bottle lighting, so it makes it innate. And it also doesn't make, it makes it so it doesn't cost an action. So crown makes it a free and opening hands. But removal's pretty good. I'm scrappy sword snow stick. Cause then once I have my combo in hand, like we have a combo deck. But that's a lot of gold that I'm because I can also buy charms. This forces me to take a card. This, this makes me a crown and okay, just think about this. Crowning Blaze against my build online in turn one. The build really comes down from Vase, vase Shellbog, and Biscuit. The Blaze is just a secondary thought. What really makes the build go is the Shellbog, Vase, Biscuit. That's why our movement's pretty good. It's 
It's a lot of gold that I'm not utilizing though. What does Spark do? Trigger immediately when the book cannot be recalled. Okay, we're never recalling. Wait, that's kind of good because we're never recalling. I mean, how does Trigger immediately even. Is that good? I can put it on Kalugo. But is it good? Well, now the crown on the Blasty is kind of cool because it triggers immediately. Can I Blasty a card while it's in my hand before I play it? Wait, this is going to be a Giga Chad when I... If, okay. Um, Spark? So now we can crown on the Blaze T and then Kalugo can summon 6 AoE. Pretty good, pretty good. Is that correct though? If there's Thorns, it sucks. So you hear what I'm saying? Blasty while in my hand, then I play it, immediately triggers. It does AoE barrage, but if there's thorns, is it bad? But it makes the spark better. But getting brown out is pretty important. Look at all these charms. Wow, stacked. Okay, let's remove. Move. Flame water is pretty bad. I think snowstick is better than flame water. Flame water is pretty bad. So are we happy with what we did here? We put crown on Blazy just so that it can get a bigger opening in hand from Burst Spark. But I don't know if that's even worth it. I'm not sure that's worth it. But what we know is important is Vase, Shelbo, Biscuit. And. Shovel is really important, so that means Braun being on the field is important. And Spark means I can't... Wait, this is bad, because let's say there is Teeth or Thorns. I can't recall it. So there's a situation where potentially I can't end my turn, because if I end my turn, Kalugo dies. Wait, this... <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. If I end my turn, Kalugo dies... To teeth. That would be shitty. Alright, let's go. I'm being paranoid. Biscuit, we got the vase. But we don't have the shell bow. Bunker and snow stick. That guy's dead. Okay. Trigger when an ally attacks. So we got the biscuit on the showbow. Alex an attack is to do five damage. Five damage. Poor bronze can take it to the face. But it gets Kaligo going, which is important. And then I gotta reach on to Vaj for Shovel. Okay. 
Okay, so Kalugo does not want to hit Frost Guardian. I repeat, does not want to hit Frost Guardian. What's up, Kron? Jeremiah wants some love. How do I kill this thing? Or snow stick? What if I snow stick here? Does that work? Can you snow a ice forge? No. So the Kaluga is appropriately not attacking Frost Guardian, which is good. Perfect. All right, and when we're ready for the Frost Guardian, well, you'll know when we're ready. Well, you'll fucking know when we're ready. And I gotta get... Kalugo's gonna one-shot this guy. But I can put it on Braun. If I put it on Braun, Braun's a beefy, beefy dude. And if I put it on Kalugo, then Kalugo just one-shots anyways. I think I'll pass you to Roam. Get Vaz on the show bow. There it is. And let's cook with gas now. Now we're cooking with some gasoline. Let's put her in the mix. Okay. And we can snow stick Mr. Grink. Just to slow him down a little bit. And next time we could do Sunrod Kalugo. Sunrod Kalugo, and I killed the whole row. Easy. And the fight's over, right? That's it? Who cares about Spike Wall? Well, he has to resummon, of course. So it's only a two combo. Who cares? I'm already rich. Gold doesn't mean anything. Wait, that spike ball is insane! Huh? Motherfucker! Alright, so let's go ahead and do um, Sunrod again. Oh, have I killed it with a Scrappy Sword yet? I haven't. So I gotta set that up. Doesn't matter with Snow, exactly, exactly. Like, what does it mean anything with Snow? So we gotta set up a trappy. Oh, but I got a room of trappy. I don't have trappy sword. So I'm not getting that achievement. Exactly. So we if we're, we were trying to copy Kabonka, which is another reason why I should have gone for the shop. Because if I went for the shop, I could have gotten the thing that duplicates, right? But isn't that a shade dweller thing only? Or can I get it in this copy an item, shade clay? We set up, we put Kabonka to charge it was infinite, it didn't work. But if we duplicate it, it would be infinite, apparently. I like a Kabanka can just sit in the bottom row and be chilling. Kabanka, that's bad. You're being a bad boy there. You're being a bad boy. That's all what you did. Bunker's his own little tank. That's so cool. Slow this guy down. Slow down, sir. Slow down, sir. Break the game? Probably. 
Probably. I'm sure there's a way to break. I'm sure there are ways to break the game. So here's the thing. If I re-roll, I want to get a comp. Gold doesn't matter. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna win the game. I'm gonna win the game. Gold doesn't matter. We've come to the realization gold doesn't matter. Alright, time to finally try to fight the true ending without an infinite. I can't, I don't have duplication on Kabanka, so I can't. But I got big hitter, so I got two achievements. I got the shell achievement and the big hitter achievement. This is a big achievement run. And the first one I had the biggest nut as well. So we're gonna try the final boss without. I think getting brought out is more important than this crown blaze sea crap. So remember, they can't move. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? Not being able to move is a problem. So we're gonna be very mindful. Oh, I just broke my neck. What's wrong with this thing? I broke my neck twice in a row. Oh, let's do this. Oh, that counts as a destroyed card? Yikes. This thing has barrage. What row is more important to kill? The top one. Okay, there's the biscuit. Oh, there it is. The biscuit. The vase, the shell bow. Oh, it's here, but there's no brawn. The vase, the biscuit. Okay, there's no brawn though. Ah, this thing's also trying to kill me though. Okay, so vase, shell bow, biscuit, shell bow. And then Frost Crusher and Frost Junker are trying to kill me. Gotta get Braun out. Cause I can play Kabaka for Shellboat, but that's not good enough because I wanna get Braun out, right? So unfortunately Caligo is tanking the hits, right? Cause I can't move. Ay 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 ay. Caligo's tanking the hit, that's really, 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 really bad. But we biscuit anyways, huh? We biscuit regardless. Losing down to one HP. We gotta draw into Bond. Uh, Braun. Play Kabanka to tank it? Nah. This gonna charge hard, makes it five. So it's gonna be one HP Kalugo. But I have Shobo. But then, for, yeah, we're fine. We play Kabonker. Play Shobo. Bonker, Shobo. Don't you want to get Braun out first? Or Sunrod. Sunrod kill Frost Junker.
Now we got Bron Bron in the mix. But there's a uh, five damage coming. I can snow stick one of them. Tank the five. And the next turn get Bron Bron. Also get Woodhead out of the out of the, out of the game. Frost Crusher is gonna get big. I want to slow. I want to slow down uh, Frost Crusher. This thing has a four turn counter. This has two turn counter. This thing's attacking for five. We can reroll now. Get a brawn and reroll to Shobo. Taking five. Five's okay, right? As long as I redraw to five, tank, frost crusher. Then I do nutshell cake. This is aimless. Aimless is fine. As long as we draw Shobo, we're fine. Shobo wins the game. So we gotta reroll to Shobo. So we play Braun. This part could kill Braun here. The English part could kill Braun. If Braun dies, are we sad? Once, we already have infinite shovel, so we're good. Take the hit, right? Before, if, if. All right, we did it. Next time we have shovel, we win. GG. I can put Woodhead here, but it's fine. We, we, we did it. Woodhead could just block the barrage. I like Woodhead for Frost Crusher, but... Woodhead blocked the barrage. This Frost Hunter is dead. Once you kill Frost Jailer, that game's over. Get rid of the Woodhead so I don't have to redraw on this crap. Be a big boy. And once I get rid of this frost dealer, I can go do whatever I want. Dale, buddy. Dale. Dale, dale, dale. I can do snow stick sunrod. Snow stick this guy as well. Keep him down. Keep him down for the count. Snow stick. Snow stick. And now we have sunrod. We roll into Shobo. We snow stick this guy again. We sunrod Kalugo. No energy, no. I only dictated by actions. GG. All right, guys, the first win. That didn't include an infinite. And all it took was one big fat nut. That's powerful, man. Shelbo, Kalugo, Bronze stuff.
I forgot the real names. The real names are like not. I, I totally forgot the real names at this point, but that was really, really powerful. 